Hey guys, it's John here from Sunny Drive Studio. I hope you're all doing well and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at a list of amplifiers that I do not own yet, but that I would love to have in my collection one day in the future. So basically, it's my wish list of dream guitar amplifiers. I know I already have a lot of amps in my collection and I certainly do not need any more amps, but you guys know how it goes. Gas or gear acquisition syndrome will always be there to haunt your dreams. So I'll be honest, no matter how much gear I have, I will always want more. Now, some of the amplifiers on this list are absolute dream amps. You know, the boutique expensive amplifiers with all the bells and whistles. But there are also a couple of more affordable amps in this list. Basically amps that would fit my collection well for certain reasons. So without further ado, let's check out my list for guitar tube amplifiers that I would just love to own one day. And by the way, this list will be in no particular order. Number one would be the little and cute PV Classic 20 head. I just love the PV Launchbox amplifiers like the 6505 MH and the Infective MH. And this amplifier supposedly has some great clean and crunch tones in it. So it's not a modern metal monster. It's more of a vintage amplifier that's great for clean to low gain tones, but it's supposed to be really good at those tones and the online demos that I've heard on it sounded really good. So I think that this amp would fit my collection very well as I don't own a lot of amplifiers that are geared towards those types of tones. So yeah, a sweet little amplifier that needs to be on this list. Number two would be the mighty Jugsenkettner Triamp Mark III. What a glorious amplifier this is. And I would absolutely love to have this majestic flagship amplifier in my collection. I love the Jugsenkettner stuff and I really enjoy the amplifiers that I have of them, but I think that the Triamp Mark III would top them all. Many channels, many different sounds, and a great selection of selectable power tubes, which is a very cool and kind of unique feature. It would be so fun and interesting to mess around with all those settings. It would be an absolute joy. Definitely one of my favorites on this list. Number three would be the Engel Powerball 2. Also an awesome amplifier and also kind of a flagship amplifier with all those buttons. I have a lot of love for my current Engel amplifiers because they're just great amplifiers and very solid all around. I actually used to have the Engel Powerball 1 alongside one of the XXL412 cabinets. That was a great stack. I got rid of that one, unfortunately, but the Powerball 2 seems to have some great improvements over the Powerball 1, and I also prefer that black look over the silver look. I think this amplifier has a lot of amazing tones in it, and I would love to have this one in my collection. Number 4 would be the EVH LBXS or the LBX Stealth. I already own an EVH 5153 50 watt EL34, which is an amazing amp, and also the LBX1, so the original LBX, which is also very cool. But the LBX Stealth has that green clean channel alongside the aggressive red channel, so it seems like the ultimate LBX amplifier, basically. It seems to be a great little rock and metal amp, and it would be great to have in this collection to compare to various other amps in my collection and stuff like that. So yeah, not very unobtainable, but a cool little amplifier that I would just love to own. Number five would be the Victory Kraken. This is one of those amps that is highly requested on the channel. I do own the Victory Kraken V4 amplifier. That's the floor version with the solid state power amp, and that is a great amplifier. And that one sounds so excellent that I would just love to try one of the full tube amps as well. Just full on tight and gnarly high gain tones for days. Definitely also one of the top amps on my list. Number six would be none other than the mighty diesel VH4. I also wouldn't mind the VH2, which is the more stripped down version of the VH4. They both seem to be amazing amplifiers, but man, I'd just love to have a real diesel in my collection. And I did hear the VH4 in person and it sounded absolutely killer. And the fact that James Hetfield from Metallica loves these amplifiers definitely plays a part here for my enthusiasm of those amps. I used to have the pedal version of this amp and that one sounded absolutely cool, but of course I'd love to have the full tube VH4 amplifier head. So that or the VH2 would absolutely kill in my collection. Number seven would be the PRS Archon amplifier. The Archon seems to be a great series of amplifiers by PRS. The high gain tones are fat and the clean tones are supposed to be good as well. Everything I've heard about these amps seems to be excellent, so I would just love to own one. Whether it's one of the older models or one of the newer, more affordable models, they all seem to be great to me. As long as it has plenty of gain and fatness, as I've heard in all the demos. So yeah, I'd love to own a PRS Archon. Number eight would be the Orange Rocker 30 head. 
Orange doesn't make the Rocker 30 anymore, but it seems to be a great amplifier with a lot of tone. I have the Rocker 15, which is a great amplifier in its own right, but I would love to have that Rocker tone in a big and proper orange head shell with 30 watts and two EL34s in the power section. I see them on the used market sometimes for reasonable prices, so who knows, maybe one day. Number nine would be the Mesa Boogie Road King or Roadster. I will admit that John Petrucci of Dream Theater did turn me on to these amplifiers when he used them on Train of Thought and various tours after that album. It's no secret that I love Mesa Boogie rectifiers and the Road King or Roadster basically seem to be the creme de la creme of rectifiers. Now the Roadster is basically the more simple version of the Road King and I wouldn't mind having that one over the Road King. They both seem to be amazing with all the channels and tones. But yeah, the overall tones and sounds that these amplifiers have to offer are just very appealing to me, so I'd love to have one of those. And the final amp on this list, number 10, would also be a Mesa Boogie. And since I'm such a huge rectifier fan, I would just love to own one of the older two-channel rectifiers. Preferably a two-channel dual rectifier. Those amps are legendary basically, and a lot of people claim that these old two-channel rectifiers sound better than the more current rectifiers. Now I love my three channel rectifier and my mini rectifier as well. And I would go as far as to say that the three channel rectifier, that that's basically my rectifier sound, the sound that I love from a rectifier. It's thick, it's spongy and it's fat, it's scooped and fizzy. Everything that I love about a rectifier basically. But still those old two channel rectifiers are legend and I would just love to have one in my collection. And also to compare to my three channel rectifier and my mini rectifier and stuff like that just seems like a very cool and sort of mysterious amplifier that I would just love to own one day. Mmm, rectifiers, gotta love them. That's all for this list, I hope you enjoyed it. Now this was all based on my personal opinion and taste of course. I'm sure that I'm missing out on a bunch of boutique brands like Rev, KSR and stuff like that. I'm definitely up for trying anything of course, but this is just a list of amplifiers that I have dreamt of in the past. Do let me know in the comments down below what some of your dream amps are. And also please drop a like and a subscribe as that really helps the channel out. You can also follow Sonic Drive Studio on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter for exclusive content. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you soon. Cheers!